Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths video on lines of symmetry and symmetry. Now symmetry occurs in everyday life. For example, our face, we say, is symmetrical because if I was to draw a line like this, if I was to flip over this half of the face over to here, you would see that kind of half of the face. You can see it's repeated as you flip it over. And we call this a line of symmetry. So our face has a line of symmetry down the middle like that. And notice that symmetry, by the way, has two M's. It's just like if you were to view something in a mirror as well. So if I had a mirror here and you were sort of looking at the mirror, well, you would see yourself in that mirror, wouldn't you? And it's almost as if there's yourself on the other side of the mirror, the same distance away, and you're going to see yourself on the other side of the mirror. You see your reflection, don't you? So the mirror itself is the line of symmetry. And an informal way of saying that is the mirror line. And you can see again that if we flip over this part of the image onto the other side, we get this image here. And if you were to hold a mirror, I don't have a mirror, but if I had a mirror here, I would be able to see this image on the other side if I was to look into the mirror. So let's answer some of these questions here. Reflect the following shapes in the line of symmetry. So if I just copy this, I've got the line of symmetry here. And then what we do is that each point on this shape, we're going to basically reflect it one at a time. So let's take this point, for example. Now this point is already on the line of symmetry and therefore it stays where it is because when it flips over, it stays on the line. Now, what about this point? So if we go towards, directly towards the line of symmetry like this, and then go the same distance again, we end up here. So you can see, let's say that was say two units across, we would go across another two units and we're now here. And let's join that up. And you can see that it's kind of been flipped over. What about this point? Let's go directly towards the line of symmetry. And then let's do the same distance again. So that's like one unit, you do one unit. I know this is approximate, join it up. And what about this bottom one? That gets flipped in this line, it's gonna end up over here, because we go towards the line of symmetry, the same distance again, join that up. And then finally, this point here stays where it is because it's on the line of symmetry. And there we go, look, nicely flipped over. And it should look right. So always check your drawing once you've finished, that it looks like when you flip it over, you get the other side of it, yeah? What about B? Again, let's do it one point at a time. So this point, go directly towards the line of symmetry. So at a right angle like that. So go towards the line of symmetry and then the same distance again, you end up here. That point here, we go towards the line of symmetry, same distance, gonna be roughly here. Join it up. Then this point next, so go towards the line of symmetry, same distance again. And then what about this point here? it's gonna be a bit closer, so we're kind of going around. And then this point, it's gonna end up over here. Then this point ends up over here, and join it all up. And again, it should look right. You can see that that shape has been flipped over to give you that shape there. So it does require a bit of spatial awareness. But if you have a grid and some grid paper, you can count the squares. So if this is like two squares across, you know you need to go another two squares across. What about this one? This is slightly easier, I'd say. So identify and count all the lines of symmetry. So we've got this T-shape here. Now, is there anywhere I can put a line, a mirror, such I'd see the same thing on either side of the line? Well, I can't put it here because you don't see the same thing on this side of the line as you do on this side. But can you see if I put a line here, then if I was to flip over this side of the image, I do get the other side of the image. So there's your line of symmetry. So it has one, line of symmetry. What about B? We've got this H shape now. Now, where could we put a mirror where we'd see the same thing on either side of the mirror? So, uh, well, you might be able to spot this line of symmetry because if you flip this side of the image, you get that side. But look, also, if I have a line here, if I was to flip this side of the image, I'd see that side of the image. So it has two lines of symmetry. Now, what about C? We've got a rectangle here. Now you might be able to spot this line of symmetry because we see if we flip because if we flip that we get that. There's also a line of symmetry here. 
because if we flip that side of the image over the line, we get that side. Now you might think that we have this diagonal here. So if I just draw that, we've got this edge and this edge. I'm just drawing that bit there. And we might wonder, okay, what happens if we have this line of symmetry? But the problem is, if we reflect this in this line of symmetry, let's see what we actually get. Well, this point, if we go towards the line of symmetry and then the same distance again, we end up over here. And then this point stays where it is, we join it up. And can you see that actually, if you were to reflect in that diagonal there, this part of the rectangle, then you actually get a kite, so you don't get a rectangle. So that is not a line of symmetry there. So that's two lines of symmetry. What about D? We've got a parallelogram now. Well, we might think that this is a line of symmetry, but that's not quite right, because if I draw it a bit more skewed like this to make it clearer, can you see that if I had a line of symmetry like that, even though that these two points might be the same distance from here, so if I flip that, I get that. Can you see that that point doesn't flip to get that? That is closer to the line of symmetry than that is. So that's not going to be a line of symmetry. And for similar reasons to over here, that is not a line of symmetry either. So that's not a line of symmetry. That's not a line of symmetry. Because look, can you see that if you flip that point in that line of symmetry, you'd end up somewhere over here that flips over to here in that line, which is not on the original shape. So that has no lines of symmetry, yeah? Zero lines of symmetry. What about E? We've got a square. Well, this has many more, actually. So we've got this line of symmetry, one. We've got this line of symmetry, two. Now, this we can have the diagonals, because look, can you see that if I flip that point here in this diagonal, I end up over here? So that is a line of symmetry. I can flip that sort of triangle there to get that triangle there. And similarly, we've got that as a line of symmetry. I can put my line here, and I see the same thing on each side of this line, but flipped over. So that has four lines of symmetry. What about F? We've got a triangle. Well, we've got this line of symmetry here, but I could also put my mirror here, and I'd see the same on either side of the line. And I could also put it here, because I could put my mirror here. I'd see the same thing on either side of the line, but flipped over. So that's, all, so that's three lines of symmetry. And you might be able to spot that if you have a regular polygon with, say, three sides, then it'll have three lines of symmetry. If it has four sides, i.e. square, then it has four lines of symmetry. If you had a regular pentagon, it's, that's five sides, so that's going to be five lines of symmetry. So if we just confirm that for G, and I draw a pentagon, a regular pentagon. Then look, I've got one line of symmetry here, because I can put my mirror here. I see that flipped over. I've got this line of symmetry. I've got this line of symmetry, all going through the middle of the shape. I've got that line of symmetry. And I've got that line of symmetry. So that's five lines of symmetry. One, two, three, four, five.